All right, guys, we got this. Let's go. Good white trips. Eat. Close next go. On one. On one. Ready? Three. What's going on everyone, Ancap24 here from Huddle.gg. In today's video, we're going to talk about a new going ticket that has not been released yet. I'm the only one that actually has it, as I was the maker of it. I had somebody fortunate enough to allow me to make a golden ticket as they weren't playing Madden anymore. And I made a utility fullback named Ben Skoranek. So what I wanna do with this video is kind of give you a uh, sneak peek of this card as he will be released soon, and kind of give you my thoughts on why I designed him, what my intentions were, and basically wanted to give somebody a kind of a Swiss army knife to give the community an opportunity to use him whatever way they wanted to. Now, a fullback, if you guys don't know, is an opportunity you can play him at fullback, you can play him at halfback, you can play him at tight end, you can play him at wide receiver. He's got the ability to basically be everywhere. So having a player that's 6'3", 224, um, comes out of college, Notre Dame as receiver, he's got the build for the receiver and we gave him everything that you'd want as a receiver and give him that opportunity if you wanted to use him as one. I played in the empty uh, playbook for a while and know that you know having a running back as a receiver is really really key and this is going to be great for those players that play five wide now also it's going to be great for those PLR players that like to motion out their running back to the line of scrimmage and use them in that regard for sure now also it's going to be somebody that is going to be a great running back as we go through their um abilities and it's also going to be a great fullback and also a great tight end so let's jump into the first part of him which would be a fullback right what you're going to see here is that we'll start off with the zero buckets. He's got evasive. He's got secure protector. He's got goal line back. And he also has built in Vanguard all for zero IP. You can pick two of these. So as a fullback, what you can see in these highlights is you're going to have the Vanguard ability to really be able to go and just pave the way for your for your running back, right? You know, in that case, a goal line back would be a second pick I would expect. If you're gonna keep him as a fullback, it gives you that opportunity to have both of those. And then as a receiver out of the backfield, you either can do matchup nightmare or route tech for what? Those are the things that I put on him. Do keep in mind that we had uh, this assignment over a month ago when it comes to picking players and picking what they um, are able to do. This is before the theme team all stars, before you know um, everybody else had you know golden tickets already made. So trying to find something a little bit special was kind of fun. Now let's go ahead and talk about him as a running back, right? As a running back, what you'd want to do is obviously, you know, he's a little bit taller as a 6'3", 224 player. He's got the natural juke, right? So if you wanted to, you can go ahead and put him as evasive. He's going to have a little bit better, you know, juke moves there. But secure protector is something that I feel is going to be something that I value as a passer. I wanted somebody that when they blitzed me, my guy was going to hold his frame and not, you know, basically get beat off that first move. It's one of the better blockers in the game. We've given everything 99 strength, 99 agility, 99 impact block, 99 lead block, 99 run blocking. As you can see, you know, with secure protector, it does not matter that he has, you know, lesser pass blocks. As long as he's got, you know, secure protector there, he's going to be fine. And what you're going to see is just basically he was built to not only be able to uh, block for you from a running back standpoint, a fullback standpoint, a tight, a tight end standpoint, but he's also able to run the route to do everything that you'd want him to do. So before we show you a little bit of highlights of him as a receiver, him in a blocking capacity, and also a receiver to catch the ball, let's jump into show our X factors. And the first thing you're gonna see is you got charged up angry ones, it is one AP. You do have the charged up yak him up for zero if you want him as a receiver. And then you have the ability to kind of go through here, do freight train as well if you like, and the ones that you normally expect from this position. Now as a receiver guys, you're gonna see that he not only has the ability to block, but he has the ability to catch the ball in and out of routes using that big frame and that big um, ability to basically have a wide uh, wingspan. Uh, just the perfect kind of player to do whatever you want with him. Uh, something that I've had a lot of fun using this card so far. Hopefully guys, you like this uh, preview of this golden ticket and you like the selection and thought process I put into it. Uh, please let me know in the comments if uh, you intend on using him and what you intend on using him for. Is it going to be running back, fullback, tight end, uh, wide receiver? Love to know your thoughts, guys. Appreciate y'all. We'll catch you on the next video.